Greetings, Internet people. Randing Ramsey here, bringing you a kind of a new segment I'm going to start doing called the Rant Request. And what got me started doing this was um, a while back I put a message on my profile, and then I uh, uh, Sarkin Tard linked me to his blog where he'd kind of plucked me there, and I put a message on his blog that said if anybody had anything that they wanted to see me do a rant about or had a subject that they wanted to bring to my attention, that they could feel free to do so. And I would more than likely consider doing it for a rant and put one together. And I did the first one of those yesterday, and I, I just didn't really think to label it as its own little thing. So this is the rant request, and rant requests don't come from me, obviously. This is something that somebody else found and brought to my attention. And today we're talking about exotic pets and their tendency to do what they do naturally, which is kill things, or attack them anyway. And this was brought to my attention by a YouTube user named NewGoblin36, and his stuff is down at the bottom in the description. And um, he sent me a message saying, you know, that he basically, um, the, the example he said is that there's a video out there, this guy who's got this, like, at a zoo or something, or a, got this pet, it's like a pet lion. And he's like teasing the damn thing and sticks his head in its mouth or something. The, 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 the lion basically says, enough of this shit, bites down on the dude's head, and they wind up killing the lion, even though it had no prior history of violence or anything like that. And um, he brought this to my attention. I sat and I thought about it for a minute. And i got to be honest, it's something that's always kind of puzzled me, how people can go out and buy or capture these exotic pets and then seem extremely confused when they don't behave in a domesticated manner because I guess maybe they don't realize that any pet that most pets that you can go into like PetSmart or Petland or any of those places and buy have been born bred in captivity for generations and the animals are truly domesticated um, even the, the weirder things they've got, you know, like the, the lizards and some of the stuff like that, like any, like, like little bearded dragons, those are so fucking common that they have been bred in captivity for fucking decades at this point, and even though they come from a more, uh, wild, you know, species than your common, you know, household dog or cat, they are fairly domesticated animals, their species over the last 10 to 20 years, if you buy them in a pet store, has been bred in captivity and is used to being handled, in fact, they've almost come to be acclimated to human presence, so, and that's kind of one of the terms of domestication that the animal accepts human presence and relies on it because they realize that we are going to give them a much easier life than they would ever have on their own and all they have to do in return is let us pet them which is a win-win situation for them but and then so I, I went looking on the internet because I was like well exactly I wonder how common this is because you hear about it on the internet on the on the news a lot but then again a lot, I guess, is kind of a wrong term, because you really don't hear about it very often, so I misspoke. Blame the paid meds. Um, but I went searching, and I found a couple of websites that kind of made my uh, my floor, my jaw hit the floor. And one of them is just this asininely long list of incidents in Florida that are involving exotic animals or pets. Now, most of the stuff on that list from Florida is mostly about, they just found a python or something in a a, a rental property that the previous owners left behind or something like that. But there's a few of them in there that made me kind of go, really? Um, is I, uh, here we go. Uh, Mar and this is like recent shit. This like currently just happened. If you live in Florida, you might have heard about this. And on March 16th, 2010, in uh, K Kissimmee, Florida, a, uh, a man went door to door warning his neighbors of uh, in Os Oscar. Oh, fuck. <laughs> People of Florida got weird county names. O S C E O L A County neighborhood and uh, his about his pet bobcat who had escaped after attacking attacking him. Uh, yeah, that seems pretty smart to have a pet bobcat. And but then you know the, the bobcat attacks him, and so what does he do? He goes door to door warning his neighbors. Yeah, I, if I was the uh, people in the neighborhood, I'd probably petition to have that fucktard removed from my neighborhood. And um. And then on February 19th in Wellington, Florida, a visit to a pri uh, visitor to a private exotic cat sanctuary was bitten by a jaguar. A jaguar. 
the, uh, the woman suffered serious injuries to her hand and was treated at a local hospital. And um, so that's stuff that happened in Florida, just those two. And then you can look at that. I'll link that down there. That list just goes on and on and on. But then I found something even better. And um, it's a list of all these exotic pet attacks that cover, like, like tigers and lions and tigers and bears, oh my. And I wish I was exaggerating because there is a section with bears and all these things. And I don't know, I just really don't understand the mentality of some fucking idiot who's going to go out and buy a fucking tiger and raise it from a, a, a cub and expect that just a few years of close contact will overcome decades and hundreds of thousands of years of evolution when the tiger says, wow, that thing is soft and squishy and I bet I could eat it, you know, and eventually they're going to try to fucking eat you. I just don't understand why people don't fucking get this. And then what's really aggravating, and I think the point that, um, the point that uh, New Goblin 36 was bringing up to me was that when these animals do revert back to their natural state, everyone freaks out and it's pretty much taken out on the animal. Like, well, we'll just kill the animal and the person who who had this animal without a permit or who shouldn't have even had it at all is just going to get off scot-free or maybe even with just a small fine or something stupid and ridiculous like that. It just... I, <sighs> It's, it's a really frustrating fucking uh, mentality to have to deal with because if people would just stop and think for a minute and realize that you really don't need to be owning these things as fucking pets, that we could avoid a lot of these situations to begin with. I mean, it's just kind of ridiculous. So, uh, I'm kind of repeating myself. I blame the pain meds. I'm not one generally to take fucking medications aside from maybe smoke a bowl every now and again. And the shit they put me on has just got me feeling absolutely fucking retarded. So, I'm sorry if that was kind of lame. And and uh, if I uh, didn't do your rant justice, I apologize, New Goblin. Um, but yeah, so if anybody has anything to contribute to this conversation with uh, maybe find a link or a video of an exotic animal attacking its owner and, uh, you know, send me a comment or something. Maybe I can do a better job, do a second part to this and not have it be so lame. So, sorry, kind of lame. I'm pretty much fucking out of it, and I have absolutely nothing to do because I can't really do much. I tried to play video games last night and just fucking embarrassed myself for an hour and a half. Although I will say to the two people that I managed to kill on SOCOM Confrontation, y'all bitches got killed by the one-armed man.